I wonder why I bought a white motorbike. It's just so plain and boring. I need something different. I mean, I'm not trying to be racist against white people. You know what? Let's change it. Let's change the color of the bike right now. I'm sick of white. It's disgusting. Rip it off. I'm sick of this stupid tank pad. Oh yeah. This is what color my motorbike was always meant to be. Look at that. That's what we want. This is so much better than white. Yes, my bike is actually gold now. It's so good. I love it. So, as you know, my bike was originally white, and then I had it vinyl wrapped gold. But it was only after I had it vinyl wrapped that I had this awesome idea of making like a reveal video where it sort of turns from white into gold. So I had no choice but to plastic dip white back over the top of the gold. It was a massive pain in the butt. Oh, motorbikes. By the way, you might notice that I've scratched this fairing up here. This makes me so sad. It makes me cry myself to sleep every night. But I'll explain what happened with that later. Anyway, it's time to go for a ride, so let's go. It's been crazy how much attention this bike has been getting now that it's gold. I mean, it's pretty funny how much difference a, a color can make. Cheers. I went to a cafe and I was, I was parked there, it was on a pretty busy street. I was just watching all these cars sort of slow down and then stop in the middle of the road just to have a look at my bike and, and take photos on their phone. I don't know if I like the idea of everyone staring at me all the time. It feels kind of dangerous actually because quite often I'll be riding past people and I just see them staring at me instead of paying attention to the road. And I'm like, what are you doing? Look at the road! Look where you're going! I'm busting for the toilet. Why didn't I go to the toilet before I left? Someone please tell me where a toilet is. Where's the toilet at? Tell me! I'm gonna wet my pants. I'm gonna find a toilet. I, I promise I'm not gonna wet my pants. That'd be embarrassing for all of us. I don't wanna make you guys watch that. I haven't wet my pants for a long time. Like at, at least two weeks now. Whoa, my bike is so loud. I love it. I love it. Okay, I found toilets, guys. But hopefully I don't freak anyone out. Just this uh, weird guy with cameras all over me walking into the toilets here. Damn bike, you look so good. It's so hard to stop staring at my own motorbike. Ah, that feels much better. I just went to the toilet, but um, I'm not going to show you that on camera because that might get me banned off of YouTube and also that is really weird. So guys, I'm sorry I didn't upload for a while. If you're wondering what I got up to in the meantime while I was gone, let me tell you organized a subscriber ride and met a lot of cool people. Went for a ride on my friend's brand new R1. Got a poppy. Tried to go for a ride but it was raining. Won free tickets to the Superbike Championships and a pillion ride around the track with racer Robbie Bugden. But I chucked my girlfriend on the back instead. They hit speeds of close to 200 kilometers an hour with the front wheel off the ground but afterwards she said it was too slow. She's crazy. Met some other motor vloggers from Sydney and Melbourne called See It With Simon, Winnie Ryder and Tidy Wombat. Cars tried to kill me on a daily basis. Tried to go for a ride again, but it was still raining. It was really windy and I crashed my drone while filming a video. Dropped my bike while filming a video. I thought the ground was dry at the time, but it was really muddy and I slipped over. Don't try to ride street bikes in the mud. It's not a good idea. Tried to record the video somewhere else where the ground was actually dry. Dropped my bike in the mud again, on the other side. It was even worse than the last time. Don't try to ride street bikes in the mud. It's not a good idea. Fire out, this bike takes off fast. I've uh, put new sprockets on and a new chain, different gearing to what I used to have. So it means I have higher acceleration but lower top speeds. And I've got black adjustable rear sets now, so they're really good. And I finally, finally put a fender eliminator on my bike. So that was long overdue. So I hope you guys are happy because I swear every single video or photo that I upload to the internet there's always one comment saying oh that that rear fender is so ugly or something stupid so I hope you're happy guys 
I gave in to the to the peer pressure. Damn it, Mel's holding me up again. What do you think you're doing, Mel? Why do people put their names on number plates anyway? I'm riding my motorbike down the road and it looks really cool because it's covered in gold. And oh man, what am I talking about? You know, I was kind of scared about uh, blinding other drivers with my gold chrome wrap because it's so reflective. But I don't think it's that bad. This guy wants to race. I can see it in his eyes. I'm going to smash him. I'm going to completely smash him. Now let's go. We're off. All right, I've got a bad start, so I'm going for it. Jeez, fuck, holy, holy, his missing pole size is smashing me. I'm going to have to have some more practice at drag racing. Idiot. I'm meeting up with the chef's ride, and there he is. So here's another motor vlogger from Adelaide. There's an ambulance behind us. Oh, that's good. Before the ambulance there, they can clear the way. Look at this hoon! We should do that, why don't we do that? Oh, there's a bike up here, let's go see them. What is this bike? I think it might be an R1 or an R6. Yeah. He must feel really intimidated right now, we're just like <laughs> surrounded. <laughs> I'm not gonna race him. Nah, racing is lame. Smashed him! Oh wait, yeah, we weren't supposed to race, were we? I think we scared him too much. A few moments later. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's back for a rematch. <laughs> Smashed him again! Oh, <laughs> I was not expecting that. I, I slowed down at the speed limit. I, I don't like racing over the speed limit, so... Wow, some nice bikes. This guy's number plate is really annoying me. It's not in the center. Actually, his whole exhaust isn't exactly in the center. Like, my OCD is just killing me right now. I just want to like reach out and straighten it for him. This ZX-10R ride is pretty good. Oh, jeez, what was he? <laughs> was he even watching? <laughs> All right, I've just got to send off some stickers to one of my subscribers. <laughs> that kid's waving to me. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm sorry if this video has been kind of strange. I feel like I have to get used to vlogging all over again because I haven't done it for ages. So, yeah, I'll see you next time. And thanks to the people who have sent me stickers to add to my board, Seat with Simon, Titan from Hell, Suburban Delinquent, Lane Shift YT, and Adelaide Street Riders.